OK, so let's draw a curve. So let's say I've got a curve that looks something like this. OK, so what you've got are regions of this curve where we have these points here that we know referred to as stationary points. But we also have these regions where the curve is going like that. So we are effectively going, if you imagine, going in an anti-clockwise direction. And then we're going to hit a point where we start going in a clockwise direction. And then there's going to be another point where we start going in anti-clockwise again, then clockwise, and so on, OK, as we go. So there are going to be these points where here you can see I'm going to go through and then I'm going to hit a point where I would effectively be going this way around. OK? So I'm going in that clockwise direction. Then I hit this next point somewhere around about here maybe, OK? Where I'm now going around in this direction, OK? So going in a clockwise direction. I then keep going around, and I'm going to hit another point somewhere maybe up here. I'm going in this anti-clockwise. Okay, and then from that point onwards, I keep going in a clockwise direction. Okay, so can I work out um, these regions? Can I work out where the curve is going in an anti-clockwise or clockwise motion? Now, first of all, what are these regions called? Okay. Now, if you're looking at a curve that is like this, one of these blue ones, okay, this is what we would refer to as where the curve is convex. Okay. And if you are moving in that kind of direction, that is concave. Okay, so if, for example, you had another curve like uh, y equals log x, then log x looks like that, okay? So for all values of x that the curve exists for, it is uh, concave, okay? Because you're going around this, effectively, kind of like this uh, clockwise motion. Now... Some people have great difficulty with remembering which is convex and which is concave. And to be quite honest, I do as well. I always have. Okay, so there is another way of writing it. Uh, you can refer to convex and concave as concave up and concave down. Now, I find these uh, usually easier to remember because I kind of think of them as kind of like satellite dishes, okay? And then thinking about, well, in which direction is my satellite pointed? Is it pointed towards the sky, okay? Is it concave up? Or is my satellite pointed towards the ground, okay? In which it would be concave down. So that's how I kind of like to remember it. But so these are kind of interchange these can be used kind of interchangeably. But keep an eye out for kind of wording as used in exam papers and textbooks about which they're kind of preferring. But really either should be perfectly fine.